when one of your coworkers ran to you and said, we're losing. Yes. Because he was looking at the numbers. Um, and you said, no, I'm not losing because I'm, I'm playing the game that I wanna play. Um, I, I think one of the insights I extract from that is, in order to win, you not only have to create your own game, but you also have to release yourself from a preoccupation with how, how you think others are getting over on you. Yeah. Be because sometimes we can be winning, but then you know, if, if, if someone else thinks they're beating us, we can kind of get distracted by that potential ego battle and be like, oh, you're not getting the best of me. What advice would you give to someone to, to more readily embody that mindset when, when, you sur when you're surrounded by people yeah. that do love the ego matches yeah, yeah. And, and they do think they're using you or yeah. they do think you're stupid, they underestimate you? How do you deal with that? So happens to me on a regular basis. I'm not perfect. <laughs> um, and I, you know, probably a month ago at work, something happened and I remember thinking, ugh, like yeah. that's happening and they're winning and I'm losing. And it took me a weekend to go, hey, wait a second. Yeah, they're winning, but they're winning that thing that I don't even wanna play. But it did, it took me a few days to kind of work through that anger and frustration and that competitiveness to be like, oh wait, you didn't actually want that anyway. And this has happened quite a few times over the course of my career. I remember, you know, I've been passed over for a couple of different promotions, um, you know, jobs that I wanted that I didn't get, just like everyone else, you know, different things that had happened. But one of the things that I've always kind of realized is, you know, one job that I got passed over for, for a promotion would have really limited my ability to travel. And that's kind of one thing I really like. And I was like, well, that wouldn't have been so good. But I was in the game and I wanted to win and I wanted to get that promotion because everyone else around me was telling me that's what we're supposed to do. And then I didn't get it and I was like, but I didn't even want it anyway. I just got wrapped up in the, in the game, right? Yeah. But I got wrapped up in someone else's game. So that happens. But I think for me what it is, is after something like that happens, I'll take the weekend and I'll be like, so I like, I work out a lot. I love working out and so like, yeah. Boxing is really fun. It's all go to like my boxing class. And is, just is that box. the next day I'm going to see you in the I'd boxing like, ring? And be so. like, what is it? What is it? Why is this making me so mad? And over the course of an hour of just beating the crap out of a bag, you kind of go, hey, wait, I didn't even want that anyway. Mm. I was just getting tied up in someone else's game and I lost what I was trying to do. Let me get back to what I'm trying to do. And I think that's okay. I think that's normal and I think that's human, but it's catching yourself and going, hey, wait a second, I got to get back over here in my lane instead of trying to be in this lane. I don't, I don't wanna be in this lane. <laughs> yeah. I need to get back over here. Yeah. So I think that's kind, of, that's kind of the way I handle it. But I will not lie, I mean, of course, there are days when I just am furious, but yeah. then usually a couple of days later, I'm like, wait, that wasn't even what I wanted. Yeah. <laughs> I wanna be over here. So, but it takes, it takes a little bit of time and patience and practice to get better and better at that. And maybe one day I'll be really good at it. <laughs> yeah, well, that's part of the game too, yeah. and every game, uh, we have turnovers, yeah. fouls, yeah. you know, things along those exactly. lines, but, but you can still win the game. Right. But you yeah. still, you get back into it. You go, all right, you know, I have four penalties. And <laughs> I'm like sitting on the bench right now, but those last two minutes I play, I'm gonna play really good and I'm gonna make something happen. You know, that, that yeah. works out really well. The other thing that I think I've seen is um, you've gotta be flexible enough with yourself to let yourself change the game that you're playing over time, right? So over different phases of your life, a game may work for you, and then you might enter a different phase of your life, and you might wanna go back and reflect and think about a different game. Um, one of my friends, he's 65 and he just retired, and he's like, oh my God. So he's been reading the book. He's actually one of the people that endorsed the book. And he's like, I need this book right now. I'm 65, and I've probably got 10 years of really good health to be able to go do all the stuff that I put off doing <laughs> because I was working so hard, I've got to think about what I really want this phase of my life to be about. I have other friends who are in the midst of midlife crises who are like, I got to figure out what this next phase of my life is going to be about. And then I have a lot of people who, you know, former students and other people that I know who are sort of in that late 20, early 30s, like, whoa, I thought my life was going to be like this, but it's actually really different what's going on and how do I get it on track of where I want it to be. And so I think there's something about, you know, big life changes, whether it's, you know, jobs, spouses, kids, countries, health issues, parent, you know, aging parent issues, whatever it is, those kinds of moments are opportunities for you to sit back and go, is the game that I'm playing still working for me? Or do I need to go and design a new one?
for myself. And I think that's healthy and I think it's okay and it's a way to check in with yourself on, am I still okay and doing what I need to be doing? Um, or you know, do I need to continue evolving and growing? Because we're all human beings, we're creatures and you evolve and you keep growing. And so letting yourself do that, giving yourself permission to do that, I think is really important.